I will show you the power of generative AI. When you click on the plus sign, you get a lot of sizes that you can choose from. In this case, let's go with an Instagram square post. And let's just take a photo that we might want to edit. So I'm going to go with this photo here. So you just click on the photo and you have generate a fill here and it gives you a little brush that you can select stuff with. And the first thing is this building. I don't like it as much. So let's just like select it and just go remove the building. So yeah, there we have it. They removed the building for us. I wasn't wearing heels in this photo. So let's just add like pink heels to it. Yeah, wow. we have a bunch of options. Yeah, let's try to change the color of the dress. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna select the dress here and we're gonna make it black. Ooh, wow. It did completely replace Ooh. the dress and that's such a pretty dress. Let's like create a carousel out of this. When it comes to info on social media, you have to make it interesting. And that's where, you know, Express comes in. So I'm just gonna add a new page. Let's just have the same size right now and import like our old photo here. So you can just kind of add plain text just like that. But what I love is text effects. You can choose all of these really cool effects here. I love the rose petals here. So you can kind of describe your own thing. So let's just say like, I don't know, butterflies. Ooh, so we have letters written with butterflies here. Now that we have the text itself, it's not visible so let's add a background to it i'm just gonna give it an outline let's say we want it to like come in somehow so i'm just Ooh. gonna go into animation and drift this is a drop so now for the next slide of the carousel step one here was we just had to like select part of the image that we're interested in right so i'm just gonna type that so I'm just gonna go with something simple like this. And we could also add a shape behind mm -hmm. it. I'm just gonna go to elements, go to shapes, and there's a circle here. We changed the heels, right? So we highlighted this region. So I'm just gonna show that. Change it to like purple and then reduce the opacity here. So I'm just gonna go to add and then duplicate it. Describe your change. I'm just gonna get rid of that little circle. Instead, what we need is that box that we had when it came to Gen AI. So I'm just going to go to the sniping tool and take a screenshot of that little part. Oh, let's see if I can copy paste it. Otherwise, I'll just save it. Yeah, I can <sighs> copy paste. it. We have a box here now. So the people viewing our carousel know what to do, like where to type it, right? So elements, shapes, let's get a rectangle. Let's make it black. So this is where you can see your layers. So I'm just going to pull it behind duplicate the first slide actually. So I'm just gonna click on the plus sign and hit duplicate. And I want the text to kind of look like this because it's still a step. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Watch the magic. Yeah, watch the magic. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> of Gen AI. Yep. One last thing that I really want to share is scheduler because scheduler has saved my life. So I'm just gonna click on share. And when it comes to scheduling, we have a bunch of like social media channels to choose from. You'll have to set it up once and after that, it's just gonna do it for you. So let's just say I'm gonna go with Instagram. I'll just like type my caption here and then you can schedule it out or you can publish now. And then you just hit schedule and it has been scheduled and you can view it in calendar here. This has been so much fun. I learned a lot today and I hope this was helpful to you all as well. Awesome, okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.